morning. You're still in bed, but we're awake and we're here at what you can see is uh, one of the largest outdoor swap meets in the state of California. It's a mission field. As you can see, people are setting up right now all, the, all sorts of things that you could imagine. There's socks and there's shoes and there's lawn tools and there's everything imaginable. These are people who rarely, if ever, go to church. What a great mission field. This is a good opportunity for us to tell them about Jesus. Let's see how we do that. This is Daniel. He's one of the security guards here. Uh, say hey. How you doing? All right. Come. And what time do we open? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, and it goes till what time? Two thirty. Have you ever seen our our bridge booth? Mm -hmm. Oh, you ought to come and see it today. We give away free Bibles and all that sort of stuff. You should check it out. I will. Hey, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Just everything you can imagine, people come here and buy. Actually, I was uh, reading on the website that they expect that every Sunday about 15,000 people come through this and about four or 500 vendors. See, just as we come in the main area here, that's where our booth is. You see the black booth right over there, the Christian Resource Center? Everybody who walks into the swap meet has to walk right past our booth. Okay, we're coming up now right at one of the nice crossroads here at the at the swap meet. All right, well, we have a variety of different things. We have Spanish um, basics of the faith, and then we also have over here, we have John Piper's 50 Reasons um, Jesus Came to Die. We have some Spanish Bibles, some um, English Bibles, daily bread, and then we also have this message of the bridge, which just shares the basic gospel message. One of the greatest stories uh, that we've had from the bridge is a, a story of my friend sitting beside me here who's uh, decided to make himself available to come and minister at the bridge. And I've asked him to just share with you for uh, just a few moments today what kind of ministry has developed because of his availability here at the bridge. So Thomas, tell us uh, about some of the things that have happened here. I first met um, this one guy who came by, his name was Tony. and. Uh, he said, well, I need a, a study guide on the book of James because he wanted to teach at a drug rehab center for ex-convicts. And when I found out that he wasn't a Christian, um, but yet he, he saw that there were some really practical things that people can learn from the book of James. Um, you know, I was like, well, why, why don't I come with you and um, see what this ministry is like and see if I can help you out in teaching the, the word. One of the things that we're trying to do here is, uh, as people come up, sometimes people come here and, and they're just brand new to the community. For the average person, it's hard to find a good church. So what we've done is we've talked to a whole lot of churches here in the valley that we agree with doctrinally, and we've asked for permission to put their, um, their information on this map. And then we have uh, a little information sheet for each church. Our idea is not just to bring people to Church of the Canyons, it's, it's for people to plug into a, a local church. I think the most important thing really has been just to be friendly and kind and to demonstrate the gospel just in just being here. I think people really respond to just um, just hello, hi, how are you? It hasn't. I think when I came in at first, I was really intimidated. I thought I was going to have to answer some really hard questions, but I've been able to give out Bibles several times, meet lots of kids, give kids some of their first looks at um, spiritual things, and so I think that's what's been really great for me is is that. So. Sometimes people have questions about, man, that's a lot of resources and a lot of time and and a lot of energy, and and uh, is, it, is it really worth it to come out to the bridge and spend eight hours and maybe talk to 10 people, give away six or eight Bibles? The important thing that we really need to understand that, that the important thing that God asks us to be is to be available. And when it comes to salvation and direction, that that is up to Him, but it's up to us to be His servants to be available. 